Well, for more, joining us live is Kinsey Schofield and Los Angeles-based Royals expert and creator of todieforedaily.com. Kinsey, we appreciate you making the time for us. Thank you. As we just saw, Kate has apologised, but are we any clearer today as to why she felt the need to doctor that image in the first place? I mean, feedback does seem sort of sweet, if I'm being honest. Uh, a, a source close to the Princess of Wales telling the Telegraph that she just wanted the image to be perfect. And, you know, if you are a, a social media user, you can absolutely relate to that. And you, you might have made a few tweaks on an image yourself. Uh, so while it is a PR nightmare, without a doubt, and has led to additional speculation on top of all of the chaos um, as a result of the Princess of Wales abdominal surgery, I do think at the end of the day, this was just an innocent mistake. But it wasn't just one tiny edit, was it? Experts have found numerous inconsistencies with that image. Absolutely. But, um, you know, I think that what she likely did was she tried to wrangle three children and she wanted each of them to be well first of all my first instinct when i looked at that photo was how precious how sweet they all are like bursting at the seams and perhaps that wasn't the original photo she got she liked one photo of herself and then she tried to cut and paste each one of the kids on top of her and i think that's why you're seeing some of those fudgy fuzzy edges and some of those smears along the sides um she was just trying to create the perfect picture. And that was our first instinct, of course, when we saw that beautiful photo. But unfortunately, uh, you know, the Princess of Wales is not a professional Photoshopper. The palace, of course, is in damage control now. Do you think releasing those original images would, would put this to bed and, and stop some of the wild conspiracy theories that are floating around? I do. And if I were in their position, I would auction off the original photo for a great cause. Have some fun with it. You know, try to make light of the situation because one day they are going to laugh about this. Uh, and I would auction it off to a great cause for a happy ending. And also, if they did something like that, which really did elevate a charity or a bigger cause, it might not look like they were pressured by the media or the public to release it. It might look more like it's on their terms. Because the rumours that are out there, I mean, you do a bit of a deep dive on this on social media and it gets pretty crazy. Some people convince that Kate is a lot sicker than the palace is letting on. Some are saying a marriage is in strife. I don't think anyone really knows, but essentially it all comes down to an information vacuum that seems to need filling. That's right. I mean, you're not the first to say that. Here in the States, I was, I've been surprised by some of the hits I've done. People asking me very stri straightforward questions about the status of the relationship. Uh, and it's not that way in the UK. They're very protective of this couple in the UK, and so is their media. Um, I, we do want to see more of the Princess of Wales. She is, polling-wise, the most popular royal, not only in the UK, but in the United States. Uh, people expect more from them. I think she does have a right to privacy, especially while she's healing. But this is a misstep, and it's a misstep that needs resolving. And maybe that does require seeing her a few days or a few weeks before Easter.